Hello, and welcome to... Cut! Cut! Okay, try it again with a little more enthusiasm, Riaz. Hello, and welcome to another episode. Cut! Seriously, Riaz? Where is your energy, man? Hello, welcome to another episode of Carving Your Niche, where today, I'm gonna ask you to face your flaws. Cut. Since I started running my business a few months ago, my life has changed drastically. I'm pushing myself in new ways, stretching my limits, and working harder than ever before. So when I met up with a mentor recently and bluntly asked the question, what do you think will be the greatest challenge for me in running my business? I was a bit shocked when the answer that came back to me was, you're lazy and you need to stop taking shortcuts. Huh? Huh. 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 Wait, wait, wait. I'm not lazy. I work hard and I'm not taking any shortcuts. I work hard and smart. What is this guy talking about? But I asked and no one is perfect. No, you're not, you dingo. But I was still shocked. Do people think of me like that? They can't. I mean, I'm doing these videos every week. I'm running around all the time, running this business. How can this be? Oh, it be. And as I got in my car and headed home, it hit me. I suffer from squirrel syndrome. What? A squirrel is impatient and either makes decisions in haste or doesn't make them at all. Sometimes a squirrel's decision-making abilities is what causes it to get hit by a car as it struggles to decide whether to cross or not. An area where I struggle is research. And when you don't do enough research, you tend to make decisions in haste. And because you don't have the ability to make strong decisions since you haven't done the research, it leads to indecisiveness. Indecisiveness leads to shortcuts, shortcuts leads to laziness, and so on and so forth. This is my squirrel syndrome leading to laziness. But clearly, others saw it in me quicker than I was able to see it in myself. And even someone as confident as me still can have huge flaws. Yes, we know you're confident, geez, Riaz. My point is this, we all have different flaws, and if you haven't made the effort already, it's time to face yours. Ask someone you trust to tell you the truth about what the greatest flaw or weakness that you're facing could be. And it's gonna be very eye-opening because you're gonna have an opportunity to reflect on the answers that you get and start to take the steps to turn it around and make sure that that flaw is not hindering you from the goals that you want to achieve. Then once you get the feedback that you're looking for, dig it a little deeper and uncover the real meaning behind the criticism. Then accept it and take the steps required to better yourself in that area. See, it's not easy to face our flaws. I mean, I just shared one and I'm hoping that it's not gonna change your perception of me. Yeah, whatever, you lazy squirrel. So I'm turning it over to you. What is your greatest flaw and what are you doing to take the steps to turn it around and improve in that area of your life? Comment below with your greatest flaw. This won't be easy, but nothing great in life is actually very easy at all. Ah, cut. My name is Ria Sidi. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to comment below on your greatest flaw and what you're doing to turn it around. And I will see you next week.